This video shows how to edit a catalog item created in App Engine Studio. You can skip to these topics from the YouTube description for this video. In our previous video, we built an app in App Engine Studio for loaning artwork between offices. In the app, we created a catalog item for users to request artwork available for loan to their location. Now we're ready to edit the item. When we select Edit, the catalog item opens in the Catalog Builder. We navigate through the tabs on the left to edit the item. The Collapsible Help panel on the right displays context-sensitive help. We entered the basic info displaying in the Details tab, the item name and short description, when we created the catalog item. Now we can add an image to display in the catalog item, and a more detailed description. When we navigate to the next tab, our changes are saved automatically. In the Destination tab, we select the Record Submission table from the tables in our application scope. In our example, we want requests to be saved in the Artwork Requests table. Next, in the Location tab, we select the Catalog and Category where the item will appear. We want it to display in the Service Catalog, under the Furniture and Decor category. Now we'll create a question for the item form. Note that you can also add a question set, which is a predefined set of questions commonly used for catalog items, a container for grouping questions, or a line break. For our example, we need the user to select the artwork from a list, so the type of question could be choice or option. To see which one makes sense, we select the type and check out the subtypes. We don't need a checkbox or a yes-no question, so let's check the choice type. For our example, we want to reference the records of available artwork from the Artwork Inventory table, so we select Record Reference. Now let's look at the Details fields. If the selected option needs to be saved to a field in the Destination table, select Map to Field and then the field that this selection should be saved to. For our example, we want to map to the Artwork Requested field in our Artwork Requests table. We provide a label for the question and click outside the field to populate the Name field. This is an internal name that identifies this question. It shouldn't have any spaces. Now we need to select whether the question is mandatory, hidden, or read-only. The user must select an option, so we click the mandatory checkbox and leave the others blank. In the Additional Details tab, we specify the source table. Note that you can set filter conditions to limit the options. In the Annotation tab, we can set up instructions for the question. Now let's insert the question and move on to the next tab. Here we can manage portal settings. We don't want to do any of these, so let's move on to the Access tab. Here you can select user criteria to allow or deny access to users. For our example, we want only office managers to have access to the item. If you don't see the criteria you need, ask your administrator to create them. Now we're ready to review and submit our item. But first, let's preview it. It looks good, but we need some records in the table to see if it's working. Let's open the table in preview and add a few records for testing. Here are the records we entered. Now let's go back and preview the item again. And now we can select artwork from the menu. We can also preview the catalog item in the Now Mobile app. After reviewing the details for our catalog item, we submit it. Now our item is ready for testing in the service catalog. If your item access is restricted by user criteria, you'll need to log in as a test user who meets the criteria or have your administrator test the catalog item. Here we're logged into the service portal as an office manager, and we can locate and test the item.
So with only a few steps, we quickly edited and published a catalog item for our app in App Engine Studio. For more information, see our product documentation, knowledge base, or podcast, or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.